Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and here we talk about simple living on a budget. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 expenses to cut from your budget when starting your debt free journey. So something that made me realize that I was hugely in debt was my housing costs. So when I was in college, I paid about $550 a month for a bedroom and a four bedroom apartment. And that really wasn't unreasonable. It fit well with the cost of living. But then when I got a real job, once I graduated, I started paying over $900 a month for a two bedroom apartment. And I was living pretty close to a beach. So I was really fortunate, but that was a lot of money. So. When I was living there, I realized how much money I was truly spending on housing and realized that that was not sustainable for me. So in order to do that, I had a roommate for a small period of time while I still lived there. And then after my lease was up, I actually ended up moving home to my parents' house to completely cut out that housing cost. My parents don't charge me rent. I also don't pay for any utilities here. So my parents are helping me along the way of my debt-free journey because they would love to see me become debt-free in the next couple of years as well. So they do just cover all of my housing costs, which I really appreciate. The second thing to cut out of your budget are lavish vacations. Prior to this, I was so happy to spend money on a vacation on a weekend getaway to go do something with family or friends. And I quickly realized that it was easily spending 500 to a thousand dollars very consistently a couple times a year because I did have a pretty liberal job where I could come and go as I wanted as long as I was working my hours so I was able to extend my weekends a little bit longer and I was able to go on vacation without actually taking time off of work but in the end that ended up adding up to a lot of money spent on travel. I will say that giving up vacations as part of baby step two is something I'm not willing to do so I do still continue to go away and go places but I just have a very strict budget and try to spend around three to five hundred dollars on vacation as opposed to five hundred to a thousand dollars. The next thing to cut out of your budget is eating out. This was a big one for me. It still kind of is something that I choose to spend a lot of money on just because I do live with my parents and it's nice to get out and go hang out with friends since I don't usually invite them over to my own house. So Eating out though prior to my debt free journey was a huge expense. Frequently after work I would go out to eat with some of my coworkers or some other friends that I had made and all of a sudden you spend $20, $25 two, three nights a week and that adds up to a ton of money over the course of a paycheck or the year in total. And entertainment is the fourth thing that I cut from my budget and that was a huge expense. It still once again is something that I spend a little bit of money on living with my parents but Prior to this, I would go to the beach for the day, pay for an expensive parking spot, and then go do an activity or maybe go to a nice restaurant or get some drinks after the beach, and that added up so quick. So once again, there's $25 to $50, even $100 spent on little day trips or things to do with friends just living in a coastal area. There always seems to be a festival or some kind of parade function going on, and those events add up so quickly. The fifth thing that I gave up is crafting and hobbies, and I say this lightly because once again I do spend a little bit of money on this, but I spend very consciously. I use the 40% off coupons that all the craft stores have, and I'm now working on making crafts that will actually produce an income instead of just going to the store, seeing something on Pinterest, and saying that I want to do this, I want to make this, and that's not sustainable because I ended up with a lot of really random craft supplies to make one craft and then afterwards realize that it's not something that I really wanted to continue with and just spent a ton of money on supplies and I'm never going to use them again. So now I'm very conscious when I buy crafting supplies, am I going to use it, what am I going to do with it, and what kind of purpose is it going to serve. Since I don't have a ton of space here, I need to be very conscious of what I'm bringing into my home so that way I know that the things that I have here truly do add value to my life. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video about how to cut expenses. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.